State crews are now testing a new tool to erase graffiti, and that can be a downright dangerous job to try to clean. Como's Lee Stoll takes a look at why a drone may be the safest way to get the job done. WashDOT is going to new heights to tackle graffiti. Right now, this is the one and only. The maintenance crew in Tacoma is testing a new drone equipped with a paint nozzle to cover graffiti on hard to reach spots like bridges, overpasses and retaining walls. The idea took flight after a bridge was tagged in Olympia. Cleanup takes a team away from other work like bridge inspections and repairs. That took that crew away from working on real bridge work. It took the uh, U-bit truck offline for a day. Mike Gallagher with WashDOT started asking around. There's got to be somebody out there probably making a drone that will spray paint. He found Aqualine drones. They came up with this 35-pound, eight-motor and eight-rotor model. This is a radio antenna, and that's a GPS receiver. A spray nozzle is connected to a paint supply on the ground where an operator can point the drone anywhere the tethered hose can reach. Crews will spend the rest of the year getting drone licenses and testing the technology around Olympia and Tacoma. Each time we go out, you know, the idea is to learn, is this going to be uh, an acceptable maintenance practice? Right now, drones are restricted from flying over active roads. They will be deployed in closed work zones and in areas where traffic can be managed with rolling slowdown closures. I'm Lee Stoll. Come on news.